I looked up a reference photo like online, but I was able to take the basic structure and outline of this puffer fish and then draw another one with kind of how I would portray this if I was um, putting this fish into a painting. This fish, of course, would have like pouty lips and kind of like a sad expression. So this is my rendition of the puffer fish. So if I go to paint another one, I can just go through my sketchbook and find my puffer fish. This jellyfish. And I know a jellyfish isn't super hard to draw or anything, um, but before, like I had practiced so many times, I I was able to go in with the mermaid markers. I knew I needed to make these lines, this little thing up here, those little things in there, and then my lines. My point is, if you want to get good at drawing something or painting or um, rendering an image from like your memory, the best way to do that is to find the thing that you want to draw and draw it. Like draw it a million times until it's locked in there and you can, without a reference or, I mean, it's not bad to use a reference, but it's always cool to be able to just sit down and draw something and not have to worry about um, the technicalities of it or like um, where the shadowing goes and you know what the exact angle of this is and the things that you have to kind of concentrate on when you're looking at a photo reference. Um, like after you learn it um, and it's in your brain then it'll kind of you know, just evolve with your style, like the way that you make a jellyfish not looking at a reference, the one that's in your mind is basically what your style is. So um, I would just encourage you to fill up your visual vocabulary, make a list of things that you want to learn how to draw, and just draw them. And don't worry about them being perfect and, you know, you're going to make mistakes. You're not going to get everything the first time, but just have it in your, in your brain. And you'd be surprised what's sitting there and just waiting for you to grab. Like, once it's in there, it's in there. So I think I'm going to put my money where my mouth is and I am going to attempt to paint um, the seahorse, the jellyfish, and the pufferfish um, by using my visual vocabulary and see how, uh, how well that works out for me and we'll compare when I'm done.
this was the first one and this was the one I was going by as far as my visual memory of it. I personally like this one better. Um, see if I can pick out some differences. I can see that this fin back here is actually supposed to be more under his eye. So that's a difference. And what else? I think, I mean the back tail, but I kind of knew that was going to be messed up a little bit. I think I didn't get the definition in his forehead. Yeah, like the, I guess the shading, like my highlights were off. But I guess this could be a different view also, like more head on, but then you wouldn't see. Yeah. And all right. Well, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.